In this video, I am doing a comparison between the Neumann TLM-102 and the Shure SM7B. Now, everything that you hear in this particular review is going to be recorded through one of these two microphones, and I'll put it down here which one I'm going to be using at any given time. Now, these two microphones obviously have a difference. Well, if you don't know, they have a difference. The top one is a large diaphragm condenser microphone, and the bottom one, or the Shure SM7B, is a dynamic microphone. All that really means is the the capsule or the, the, the diaphragm that is used in both of these pick up sound in a slightly different way. This is an active microphone. This is a passive microphone. But they both get used a lot to record vocals. Now, as a professional singer and a vocal coach with over 20 years of experience and 20,000 lessons under my belt, I have a really big passion for vocal tone and helping people unlock and discover their own vocal tone. So I'm hoping that videos like this will really help you to decide what kind of microphones that you want. And then there's other videos on my channel about vocal technique and unpacking your tone. And if that's something you're really interested in, please hit that subscribe button. In this comparison, I am going to be doing a couple of different things. I'm going to do a big kind of belty vocal sound into both of these, recorded at the same time balance the levels out so not one microphone has an advantage. But we're going to do a big belty sound into it, and then we're going to do a gentler vocal sound. Now that is something that I find really important when testing microphones, because different microphones respond to different volume levels and what you put into them. So I think that's a really, uh, really good comparison to have in there. And then I'm going to play you one of my songs, I'm going to play some acoustic guitar, and then I'm going to sing that song. And then after that, I'll do a mix down of both of them and you can hear what they sound like with EQ, compression, and reverb. But apart from that mix down stage, I am not going to do anything to these microphones except maybe boost them in post just a little bit so you can, um, you can hear it without having to crank it up way too much. All right, let's get into the sound samples. For the longest time, I thought you were on my side, standing with me till the sun rise. I couldn't see you, I was so blind. For the longest time, you were sitting in my blind side, spreading seeds of doubt in my mind. But now I'm making this the last time. Oh yeah. For the longest time, I thought you were on my side, standing with me till the sun rise. I couldn't see you, I was so blind. For the longest time, you were sitting in my blind side, spreading seeds of doubt in my mind. But now I'm making this the last time. Oh yeah. For the longest time, I thought you were on my side, standing with me till the sun rise. I couldn't see you, I was so blind. For the longest time, you were sitting in my blind side, spreading seeds of doubt in my mind. But now I'm making this the last time. For the longest time, 
So before we jump into my final thoughts, there's one little thing that I'd like to have a look at, which is the frequency analysis that I did of the big notes that I sang on the front. Let's jump into that. So when we look at the frequency analysis, we can see a couple of different things. On the left-hand side, we have the Shaw SM7B, and on the right-hand side, we have the TLM-102. Now, up in the high frequencies, you can see with the SM7B, there's a lack of high frequencies going on. Here. There's a lack of detail up there. Whereas when we look at the TLM 102, there's much more detail going on in those higher frequencies. So if we get our um, uh, if we get our filter and we take that up, so you can hear what that sounds like. So you, this is the SM7B, and then this is the TLM. Oh, actually, let's get a little bit more in the in there. So that's the SM7B, and this is the TLM-102. So there's just a greater amount of detail, which when you, when you mix it all together, just adds to the tonal quality of the microphone. And then the other thing that I'd like to just have a look at real quick, here in this midsection, the SM7B just has a bit of a, especially these higher mids, these lines here are darker. So the darker the lines are, the louder those frequencies are. So you can see these lines here in particular have a bit more volume to them, whereas these ones aren't quite as dark. So this is what they sound like. So it doesn't hear, it doesn't sound like that much of a difference, but when we, when we expand it out, you can really hear the difference between the two different microphones. <laughs> So we end up with, with very different kind of qualities going on in the two microphones. So after using both of these microphones and comparing them against one another, they're, they're very different sounding microphones. You know, the, the TLM-102 has, has a greater kind of detail in the top and it has a more rich and kind of full sound, whereas the SM7B has a very mid-focused and kind of I guess you would say honky kind of sound, but the honkiness isn't an unmusical sound at all. So they're both useful in their own kind of way. You could use them, depending on the vocalist that you were miking, you could use either of these microphones and get a really good result. In fact, if you put different singers in front of these microphones and then ask them to sing, you probably would choose one or the other. You, I couldn't say to you, it'd be definitely be this one or it'd definitely be this one. That's not, that's not how microphones at this kind of level work. You'd be, you'd be listening to either one of them and go, oh, I think I prefer this one for that type of singer. And I think I prefer the other one for another type of singer. And the thing is, a singer is going to perform very differently depending on the microphone that they're singing into. Some singers might not love the detail the TLM-102, and it might be really confronting. It might be too bright and too harsh for them, whereas um, they really might like the SM7B, whereas some other singers might not like the fact that there's a lot of, not a lot of detail or the detail's a little lacking in the SM7B, and they might find that confronting, and that's going to change the way that they sing and the way that they perform on any given recording. So that is definitely something worth taking into account when you're looking at these two different microphones. Now, if I personally had to choose a mic out of these two, I would probably go with the uh, the Neumann, the TLM-102. But that's because I feel it suits my voice best. My voice has a, has a broad range of frequencies, and the TLM-102 captures that, in my opinion, better. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know which one you thought sounded best. Let me know which one you think would sound best with your voice. The song that I was singing in this was My Side, and that I'll put a link to the full version of that down in the description. Also, there are affiliate links where you can purchase these mics. 
Um, they help support my channel and make it so I can purchase more mics and so I can do more shootouts like this so you guys can not have to own as many microphones as I own. Thank you so much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment, let me know, and I will catch you on the next one.